RX-3 is officially out. I am totally prepared for RX-3. How long will it take for another raid whenever I die? Okay, I died. How many people here yeah, throw aways? Oh, damn. Well, what a dungeon. For anyone out of the loop, we have got a new endgame dungeon called Oryx's Sanctuary. And when I'm saying endgame, this is endgame endgame. This dungeon is packed with bullet hell, some of the hardest mobs and some of the best items you can get. The dungeon is very hard. Pretty much every enemy you see here has the potential to send you to your grave real fast. And to make matters worse, it is super hard to even get to in the first place. You'll have to close the realm by clearing all the quests, clear the Oryx castle, kill Oryx 1, kill Oryx 2, and then open up the sanctuary with 3 runes. To open the wine cellar from Oryx 2, you simply need a tradable wine cellar ink, and that's it. However, for the sanctuary, you'll need 3 different runes the sword rune, the shield rune, and the helmet rune, which are all extremely rare drops. The shield rune drops on event gods and court of oryx dungeons, the sword rune drops in endgame dungeons such as the nests, shadows, and fungal cavern, and finally the helmet rune drops from lost halls. Only then can you access this dungeon. Well hey, at least the entrance is grand. After killing oryx 2 you get 3 towers popping up. Activate the sword rune, the shield rune, and the helmet rune, and poof! Hectic. Once you get in, you get one of four bosses, Chief Beaser with his chain of followers, Luke Oryx with his spirals of shots, Damma with his knives, and Gamsbok who doesn't stop moving every three seconds so players just resort to shooting in one spot in hopes of him spawning there. The base dungeon layouts are pretty aesthetic, each of the four map layouts are always the same. The minions are all a bunch of don't sit on me and you'd want to maintain your distance from them at all times. Clearing all the minions opens up the gates further into the dungeon leading to the mini boss. After killing the mini boss you get Oryx 3 and damn this is a nasty fight. I won't go in depth on this as there's probably going to be a guide or some solo. There is already a solo by Unicorn, damn it. <laughs> but yeah, there's going to be start like footage which you can see. What I will say is this is easy. This is not so easy. This is hard. So, crazy dungeon right? I've died 11 times doing this. What have I got so far? Boop. A bunch of tops and these cool white bags. Was it worth it? Hell yeah. The dungeon is hard and takes ages, so the drop rates are quite high. I've done like what, 15 oryx kills and 40 mini boss kills and I got all this. The tiered items are you know, the best ones of course, nothing else to say, except the tier 15 heavier armor gives 28 defense and candy coated armor gives 30 defense with minus 10 dexterity. Hmm. That two defense do be looking kinda fresh though. The stars aligned and I cooked up this incredible wizard set. Tier 14 star, the Genesis spell, Vestra of Duality, and to top it off, Divine Coronation. This set is straight flex material. Anywhere I go, even a damn pirate cave, and I get swarmed with people saying nice set. My, 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 my. It's also damn good. The damage potential is insane. We got the tiered staff, which is the best staff in most situations if you want to reliably do DPS anywhere. The Genesis spell is crazy. It spawns 4 doors, aka turrets, which each shoot 10 times for 250 damage each. That's up to 10,000 damage for simply pressing spacebar. It does have a 4 second cooldown though, so you can't spam it, but hey. Is your neck gang sloppy? It's still 2,500 free DPS for your wizard. You can think of it as literally spawning another wizard with tops shooting for you, and the turrets have better aim than you do. For the robe, we got the Vesture of Duality. This beauty gives 10 speed, but that's not the fancy bit. On top of it giving 5 base attack, when you use your ability, you get an additional 15 attack for 5 seconds, meaning you get 20 attack from this robe. Finally, we got the Divine Coronation. It's basically a better bracer, but a worse Crown or Omni. So why am I using it over Crown and Omni? Flex. Okay, jokes aside, the robe takes away 6 defense too when you use your ability, and this ring gives 5 defense, so I think it's a nice balance. 8 dexterity is still quite attractive. So lately, I've been rocking this set and having a blast absolutely decimating enemies. This set is just great. There's some cool synergies too here. With the robe and spell, if I press spacebar, it's pretty much the spell bomb, plus 20 attack for 4 seconds. Another cool synergy is with the cult staff. You can't really use other spell bombs with it. While using the cult staff, it makes you shoot backwards. You either shoot or use your ability. 
or waste DPS flicking it, it's just a mess. Unless you're a pro player who nexus is super fast and you can somehow do both. The thing is, the spell has auto aiming turrets, so you don't really need to aim at the enemy to use it. Which means you can use the cold stuff without much drawback and damn, it's straight murder stuff. That's it guys, that's what I've got so far from this new dungeon. I'm having a great time doing it. Like, seriously a great time. Everything else right now is just booty cheeks to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I wish you the best of luck taking on this new dungeon or whatever you're doing. Thank <laughs> you.